Okay, I'd like you guys to imagine a world where everyone, regardless of what level job they have or what status of work they're doing, earns an, an income that earns them a life of luxury and being able to do whatever they want. Sounds like something that everyone can get, a, get behind and rally behind. That is, the basic, that is the basic theory that raising the minimum wage has when we talk about our, our workforce today. It's an easy thing to get behind because everyone wants to provide everyone with the best type of life that they can, even if they're from, especially when they're from a low socioeconomic background. It's the ethical and humane move when trying to approach the economy, and it gives people extra money to pursue their interests and invest in their future. But what many, but what many people fail to realize is that raising the minimum wage actually makes life harder for people of lower socioeconomic backgrounds and it has negative economic consequences that affect all of us. So basically the theory centers around if you give minimum wage workers extra money through their wage, they can then take that extra money and invest it in education or pursuing other interests that would allow them to go on a tangent in their career and eventually work their way up to something that pays higher so they can provide a better uh, you know, life for their family and for themselves. Um, this is very ethically appealing, so a lot of politicians will um, advocate for this during campaigns because, like I said before, it's something that everyone can get behind. Um, but, like I said, there's many ec ec economic consequences that actually make this counterproductive and uh, goes against what, what the original intentions were for. Um, today, we'll be focusing on three primary consequences of this. Uh, the first one is the reduction in job, op job opportunities that uh, come as a result of raising the minimum wage. Second, inflation tends to rise whenever minimum wage is uh, increased. And finally, it leads to automation and um, increasement of self-service in businesses and restaurants. Okay, so the first one, um, it takes away from job opportunities because if we double the minimum wage from seven to $15, that's another employee who can't be hired because the cost of hiring one is doubled. Um, so that luxury of having extra help in the business is lost um, because someone needs, is required to be paid $15 an hour. Um, and in a study conducted by the University of Washington um, in 2015 when Seattle's minimum wage was forced to be raised, uh, minimum wage employment actually went down by 1% in 2016 and the overall amount of working hours for employees to work uh, went down as well. Mm -hmm. So when the cost for an employee to work at a business goes up, the amount of hours that they're allowed to work goes down because the company can't keep up with that requirement. Um, so it sounds great in theory because the companies are giving their employees a, a better life, but it actually hurts them. And even Governor Brown uh, of California said in 2014 that raising minimum wage could put a lot of poor people out of work. Uh, and Kevin Madden in the United States Union Address in 2013, I thought he put it pretty clearly. He goes, oftentimes when you have the federal government or others step in and start to raise the minimum wage, what happens is you take away or reduce some people's opportunity to grab the bottom rung of the economic ladder to get the opportunity skills that you need to move up that ladder. Um, so essentially what he's saying is, although you may be enabling one person to thrive, another person is struggling to find a job because um, the cost for that one person to work is taken away from their opportunity. Um, the second economic consequence that comes from raising the minimum wage is inflation. Uh, there's been some real world examples of this in California. Uh, in Monterey County, Norm Group of the Farm Bureau said that working hours for farm workers have actually gone down uh, since the incremental program in California has been implemented. Um, this incremental program, by the way, is to raise it every year by $1 to eventually get um, the ultimate goal of a $15 minimum wage. Um, and he said also that their overall income has decreased because um, they're working shorter hours and they just simply can't keep up in their budget with paying all these workers that standard amount. Um, and then also in the restaurant business in Monterey County, uh, Christian Oldrich is the co-owner of the First Awakenings restaurant business in Salinas, California. And he said that um, the prices in his restaurant business are going up 
quote, he said, we just keep raising prices. That's the only thing we can do in order to stay in business. Um, this is a real world example of how businesses are struggling to find other ways other than raising prices to keep up with this rising demand. And then in, um, in a book called Do Minimum Wage Increase and Cause Inflation, um, the typical economic theory of raising minimum wage is explained and said that it typically leads to two results. One, the reduction in job opportunities, and two, higher output prices. As we can see, these two theories, or these two aspects of the theory are very apparent in our home state of California. Okay, and then third, so to deal with raising the minimum wage, companies usually have three options. You can cut prices, or you can raise prices, cut costs, or shrink your profit margin. Cutting costs is the most realistic and effective way of dealing with this because companies' profit margins are already usually pretty low between 2 to 5%, and um, raising prices is just one of the basic things that every customer gets turned off by, so the only option you're really left with is cutting costs. And one of the best way to cut costs is to introduce automated services like self-checkout or um, self-serving restaurants like McDonald's when you go up and grab your own food. That got changed a while ago because they realized having a restaurant service would require too much pay. Um, and in an EPI, in an Economics Policy Institute study, founded that um, New York's minimum wage increase reduced employment rates of less skilled and less educated New Yorkers by as much as 36.5% between 2004 and 2008. And um, these types of increases in unemployment rates were not seen in neighboring states uh, that had been required to raise the minimum wage. Um, and then a team of researchers in the Federal Reserve in 1999 said, on balance, when the minimum wage is increased, the proportion of poor families is also Um, think about how many times you've walked into a grocery store and seen many rows of self-checkout services. This is simply because that grocery store is trying to avoid paying someone $15 an hour to check people out in the line. And although one person is making $15, one person may be struggling to even find a job because they've been neglected any opportunities because people are getting paid too much. So. The incremental programs to raise the minimum wage should be ended, and they're ignorant to the economic effects that they're having on our economy, and also don't take into consideration the varying conditions that the economy can take from year to year. So what can you do? During elections, you can vote for politicians that are, that are aware of these negative economic consequences that they're having. Um, you can write to your local politicians, urging them to consider what you've learned today. Um, you can advocate for the ending of the incremental, incremental minimum, wage, minimum wage increases, because if we stick to a fixed schedule of minimum wage increases, we won't take into consideration what could happen in a given year. And uh, you can vote on policy not to be bound to force programs. Finally, the minimum wage was meant to be a stepping stone onto bigger and better things. It was never meant to provide for a whole family or to provide a life of luxury. The further that we, the more that we increase minimum wage, the further we stray from the original intention. Thank you.